so I'm going to be using the Blossom Knickers um, to put the fold over elastic on. So the, all you need to do is really easy. The area is where the elastic goes. So you've got the leg hole on the front and the waist. And then on the back, you've got the leg hole on the back, either side and the back of the waist. And don't forget your gusset the leg holes either side there, you just need to take the seam allowance off. So the seam allowance is five mil on this pattern. So I'm just going to mark five mil with my ruler all the way along. And then after I've made my marks I'm going to use my curve ruler to join them up like that so now you can see this is the 5 mil seam allowance and this is the area that needs to be taken off to use the fold over elastic. So I'm going to mark out on all the rest of the pattern pieces for that, and then I'll show you what to do. So here we are. I've now finished that. I've just marked all the edges where the elastic is going to be. I'm gonna take five mil off and all I need to do now is just simply cut it off. I was also just going to say that when you do this or any kind of pattern cutting, um, it's good to kind of use a sharp pencil just so that you get more of an accurate line because millimetres do count when you're making lingerie. There we go. So I'm just going to finish doing that. And the rest of the pattern. So I'm just on my last cut now. There we go. So now all of these are prepared. So I can now use fold over elastic on my knickers. I'm going to be doing part two of this where I will show you how to use the fold over elastic on the machine. Because I know lots of people have problems with elastics so I wanted to go over that for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial today. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one.